Alright, so now we are doing the capstone level 3. This one involves you exploring the entire waypoints, going all the way around so you can get into the first zone that does require you to survive an onslaught and destroy all the enemies after you destroy them then you pick up the rune and take it back to the main room once you take it back to the main room your second room will unlock which is right here it just opened and now you have to run all the way around because that side is locked which is in fact where it wants you to go but you have to reveal the map so it's having you run all the way around it shows right there you still can't get through so you have to continue along the pathway you don't have to slay everything unless you want to this one is very self-explanatory super quick and easy to get through at 69 70 or carrying your friends through if you're carrying some people through you definitely want to try and kill as many elites as you can to ensure the amount of xp is there for some gain picking up any gear you can just like in the last video of capstone 2 for unlocking tier 3 and this one just wants you to destroy an idol an elite will spawn after you kill the elite and anything that's around there preventing you from actually picking up the shard you pick it up you run it back and it will in fact always drop a second stone that you could pick up for a little added movement speed but it's not really needed after you turn it in then you have to go and slay the atomist carriers to unlock the boss once you get all of the locations revealed and the Atomus carriers slain. There will be two elites that finally spawn at the door that are your last trial before you run into the boss. If you are indeed fighting the boss, he is fire and spawns a lot of AoE. And if you don't have somebody strong with you, you will indeed go through all the phases of the boss and you will take some damage he does do quite a bit of fire ground effects does spawn some mobs in there to help him out but overall he is very simple to beat and defeat we're just gonna collect these sacreds and a few of these crafting mats but as you can see just like the dungeons the atomist carriers are marked by a skull on the map and just so you're aware the butcher does have the ability to spawn in a capstone so keep that in mind if you are doing hardcore and you don't want to fight a level 70 plus let's say you're 68 and you're trying to do your capstone for the first time you can just back out, scroll of escape out, and try again. But if you think you can take them on, you're confident with your build, go ahead and do so. Right now, match level to level is uh, perfectly defeatable. And looks like my partner in crime are ready. In fact, did kill him, the two elites, and there's some of that fire ground aoe that i was talking about he will spawn a lot more if he survived longer but he did not so now we will port back to town i will go click the map click kiovashad that way we can complete the objective so hope you enjoyed this shorter version of clearing your tier 3 capstone to unlock world tier 4 it is very simple to do and as you can see he gained another six levels in doing so and is all we have 
is to wait for the party to come back to the statue. He interacts with the statue, and that completes the video. So now we're just waiting for the statue interaction. As soon as he interacts, this will in fact unlock. And now World Tier 4 is unlocked. And that is how you work your way from Tier 2 to Tier 3 to Tier 4. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be putting out more content as the days go on. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Have a good one.